And today we heard some very sad news. There will be no festival this year, and the board plans to hold a vote to dissolve the society coming up February 1st. As you've been hearing, the Folk Fest is back for 2023. This news comes less than two months after the former board of the Vancouver Folk Music Festival Society announced there wouldn't be a show this year, and it planned to dissolve the 45-year institution altogether. It's a nice chill environment where everybody can kind of just enjoy the festival the way they want to enjoy it. I saw some people relaxing over in a hammock over there. Some people brought their kids. Some people are, uh, there's people of all ages here. So it just seems like a really, really nice relaxed environment in one of the most beautiful places in the world. Uh, tons of great performers. Uh, they always seem to have curated some of like the best folk performances I've ever seen. And uh, all in all, I just think it's one of the best weekends you can have in Vancouver. Excellent. How's the beer? Beer's excellent. Uh, it's Whist Whistler Brewing Hazy Pale Ale. So I'm shooting corn. Yes. So that makes me uh, a cornographer. Do you like cornography? I like that. Yeah, I'm shooting it right now. Look at this shirt. This is amazing. Can I get a shot of your shirt here? Yeah, nothing can ruin this shirt. That's amazing. <laughs> That's a corn shirt. I am loving the international people. And I'm loving the international food from Dragon Ball. Hey, I'm BK, I'm the site manager, or as my crew likes to call me, the uh, 
site supreme overlord. <laughs> <laughs> And basically, me and my crew basically set up the festival. We build the stages, uh, set up the tents, find the, the toilets, the fences, so that when our job is done, when the festival starts, hopefully, uh, so that uh, everyone else can do their job in terms of putting the music on the stages, lighting the site, and uh, hopefully during the three days of the festival, our team sits back and just fixes the little problems. Excellent. Yeah. And you do a damn fine job doing it as well. As I Barber and I just uh, played a very fun set here at the Vancouver Folk Festival here on the shores of Jericho Beach couldn't imagine a more spectacular setting I mean there are so many reasons why folks love this folk festival obviously great music from all over the world a lot of local content too which is great um, but the setting is just so beautiful and the vibe is right I find People here are just so friendly. Um, I just met a family of four that have come every year, um, you know, of the kids' lives, and it's really just, it's really just giving these kids this, like a, a love of live music, and you can just see why people come back again year after year. It, um, I've been here every single year since I was born. It's very fun here, and there's tons of music. Um, we've also been here every year since for the last 20 years, right? All of us have been yeah. here. Oh my goodness. We do yeah. this every year together. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's been amazing. The thought of losing this festival was really devastating, so I'm super happy that people came together and saved it, and we need it. It's really important for artists and the community and families, and it's just part of our, the fabric of living in Vancouver, and we need the arts. And so all of that is... Yeah so special. I'm so happy and thankful to all the people who made it happen.
Hall for oh a long time three decades I I sold I first sold at the festival in 94 so what does that make it 29 years Woohoo! a good while well, right 29 right. years 29 29 years okay let's see my first folk fest I was in grade 10 that's in 1982. <laughs> so that's about 39 years I've been coming to the festival. I used to volunteer Actually, at Granny's Juice years. Bar. Respect. 40, 41 years. Oh, 41 you've been, years. You've been 41 coming years. every single right. year. That means because it's the 41 years, isn't it? I've missed a few it? years, but you know, it's like I've been coming to the festival for 40 years. I think I've been <laughs> vending here for 23. Oh, I just, I love the festival. I've been coming for more than 20 years, but, oh. uh, but uh, volunteering because it's a chance to give back as a, as a volunteer, but to also be part of the family. It feels like a, a, a community, a family in this paradise, this yeah. little idyllic space that's created for the weekend. Yeah. I mean, you guys are here, we're preaching to the choir here. You understand how special this place is. Look at this view. Um, so I wanna say, on top of all of the things we, I would love for you to do, I also just wanna say thank you for being here this weekend, this year more than any year in the 46 years of history. It's probably the most important time you could be here to support this festival. So thank you for doing that.
everybody, my name is Jose Cano with Las Cafeteras out of Los Angeles, California, here playing the 2023 Vancouver Folk Festival. Um, as a Chicano from the US, from Southern California, coming out to Canada is always a treat. Coming up to Vancouver is even more of a treat. Uh, but coming and playing the main stage around sunset for us, for me, was one of the most magical experiences I've ever had as a musician. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little bit kind of lost at a loss for words as to what it felt like for me. But in addition to that, the, the, the reception of the people, the, 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 the way just everybody uh, is, is so friendly and accommodating, it makes me feel very, very special, very, very welcoming. Um, and, and it just kind of, I feel like a, like a human, like a human being. Um, I feel like uh, my humanity is seen here by so many people and in turn like I'm able to see theirs. So I want to congratulate the folks here uh, putting on this festival. Uh, Canada, you all do a lot of things right. A lot of us in the south, we look up to some of the things that you all do. Uh, so keep on going, man. But Vancouver Folk Festival was amazing, was extremely special for me. I hope to come back. Oh, we also had a jam session, a workshop. Stellar. They don't do those in the U.S. I don't know why, man. They're so so cool. But it's just a, it's just a free flow of energy and creativity, and it becomes just magic. So Canada, y'all doing something right? Vancouver Folk Woo! Festival, you're doing something right. Thank you so much. Jose Garner from Las Cafeteras. We out. Yeah. Yeah.